Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Stuart Organ, a distinguished British actor renowned for his versatility across television, film, and theater, passed away earlier this week at the age of 72. Organ's career was marked by a rich variety of roles that showcased his acting prowess, but he is perhaps best remembered for his portrayal of Mr. Robson in the beloved children's television drama, Grange Hill. Joining the cast in 1988 as the new head of P.E., Organ's character eventually ascended to the role of headmaster in 1998, a position he held until his departure from the show in 2003. This role made him the series' longest-serving teacher, endearing him to a generation of viewers. Before his tenure on Grange Hill, Organ had already made his mark on British television with appearances in Brookside as Kevin Cross and in Doctor Who as Bazin in the 1987 story Dragonfire. His career also included memorable roles in This Life, The Bill, Holby City, and London's Burning, showcasing his ability to adapt to a wide range of characters and genres. Beyond the screen, Organ had a significant presence in theatre, taking on challenging roles such as Guy Burgess in An Englishman Abroad, Aegeus in The Comedy of Errors, and George in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, among others. His stage performances were acclaimed for their depth and nuance, further establishing him as a talented and respected actor in the British theatre scene. Organ's voice also became a familiar presence in the daily lives of Londoners, as he lent his vocal talents to announcements on the London Underground, reminding passengers to mind the gap, among other advisories. His work and voice work extended to lip-syncing and dubbing cartoons and video games, including Star Wars The Old Republic. Stuart Organ's passing is a significant loss to the acting community and his fans. His contributions to television, film, and theater, along with his distinctive voice work, have left a lasting legacy that will continue to be celebrated. Organ's talent, dedication, and memorable performances have secured his place in the annals of British entertainment history. Claude Montana, an iconic French fashion designer renowned for defining the power dressing of the 1980s, passed away at the age of 76. Montana, born in Paris on June 29, 1947, initially began his career in the fashion industry by creating papier-mâché jewelry adorned with rhinestones before discovering his passion for leather. His first fashion show in 1976 marked the beginning of a storied career that would see him as a leading force in fashion, especially known for his use of broad shoulders and luxurious materials like cashmere, leather, and silk. Montana's influence extended beyond the runway, he was a pivotal figure in the fashion world, with his designs characterized by exaggerated shoulder pads and vibrant colors. He founded the House of Montana in 1979, and his creations quickly became synonymous with the high fashion of the 1980s, alongside contemporaries like Thierry Mugler. His designs not only captivated the fashion industry, but also helped define the era's aesthetic, with a focus on power and confidence. Despite facing challenges, including the bankruptcy of his company in 1997, Montana's legacy in fashion is undeniable. He was awarded multiple accolades throughout his career, including two consecutive Golden Thimble Awards for his haute couture collections for the House of Lanvin. Montana's bold and innovative designs were often ahead of their time, pushing the boundaries of fashion and influencing generations of designers. Montana's personal life was as colorful as his career. He married model Wallace Franken in 1993, in a union that blended personal and professional worlds, despite Montana being openly homosexual. Their relationship underscored the complexity and inclusivity of Montana's world, 
where creativity and personal expression were paramount. Montana's death marks the end of an era in fashion, but his influence remains. His work not only shaped the fashion landscape of the 1980s, but also continues to inspire designers today. Montana's legacy is a testament to his visionary approach to fashion, characterized by boldness, innovation, and a deep understanding of the power of clothing to express identity and emotion. Cheetah Rivera, a trailblazer in the world of Broadway, passed away, leaving behind a legacy that reshaped American theater. Born Dolores Conchita Figueroa del Rivero in Washington, D.C., Rivera's journey from a young girl with dreams of dancing to a Broadway legend is a testament to her talent, resilience, and pioneering spirit. Her illustrious career, spanning over seven decades, was marked by groundbreaking roles and numerous accolades, including two Tony Awards, two Drama Desk Awards, a Drama League Award, the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009, and a Kennedy Center Honor in 2002, making her the first Latina to receive this prestigious award. Rivera's Broadway debut came in 1950, but it was her role as Anita in West Side Story that catapulted her to stardom. She went on to originate iconic roles such as Velma Kelly in Chicago and the title role in Kiss of the Spider Woman, showcasing her versatility and depth as a performer. Rivera was a 10-time Tony Award nominee, securing wins for her performances in The Rink and Kiss of the Spider Woman. Beyond the stage, Rivera made her mark in film and television, appearing in classics such as Sweet Charity and on shows like The Carol Burnett Show and Will and Grace. Her autobiography, Cheetah, a memoir, published in 2023, offered an intimate look at her life and career. Rivera's early life was shaped by her diverse heritage and the loss of her father at a young age. Her mother's determination and support led her to the Jones Haywood School of Ballet and ultimately to the School of American Ballet in New York. Rivera's breakthrough came unexpectedly when she accompanied a friend to an audition and landed a role herself, setting the stage for a storied career. Her personal life, including her marriage to Tony Mordente and the birth of their daughter, Lisa, was as vibrant as her career. Rivera's impact on Broadway and the arts extended beyond her performances. She was a mentor and inspiration to many, breaking barriers for Latino performers and advocating for the arts. Cheetah Rivera's legacy is not just in the role she played or the award she won, but in the door she opened for future generations of artists. Her life and career are a reminder of the power of perseverance, the importance of representation, and the enduring impact of art on society. Kasha Rigby, a trailblazer in the world of extreme sports and telemark skiing, tragically passed away at the age of 54. The cause of death was an avalanche at the Brezovica Ski Resort in Kosovo on February 13th, while she was on her Tour de Piste. Born in Stowe, Vermont, Rigby's skiing journey began in her early childhood, eventually leading her to become a pioneer in telemark skiing, a niche yet challenging discipline within the skiing world. Rigby's accomplishments are vast and varied, marking her as a significant figure in extreme sports. Her association with the North Face ski team since 1995 allowed her to embark on adventures across the globe including first ascents on some of the world's most formidable peaks. Rigby's expeditions spanned continents, from the Five Holy Peaks in Mongolia to the Cho Oyu in the Himalayas, where she was credited with the first telemark descent of the mountain. Her skills and courage were so unparalleled that Outside Magazine in 1998 dubbed her the best female telemark skier in the known universe. Beyond her athletic prowess, Rigby's life was one of constant exploration and engagement with the natural world. Her expeditions in places like the Yukon Territories, the Cotopaxi and Chimborazo volcanoes in Ecuador, and the frozen Zanskar River in Ladakh, India, are testament to her adventurous spirit and dedication to pushing the boundaries of what was considered possible in skiing. Her legacy is not just in the records she set or the mountains she conquered, but in the inspiration she provided to countless women and men in the skiing community and beyond. 
Rigby's engagement to Magnus Wolf Murray and her lifestyle choices reflected her deep commitment to exploring the world's natural wonders and challenging herself against their might. Kasha Rigby will be remembered not just for her extraordinary achievements on the slopes, but for her role in pioneering a path for women in extreme sports. Her untimely death is a profound loss to the skiing world and to all who were inspired by her spirit of adventure. Dejan Milojevic, a revered figure in basketball, both as a formidable player and a distinguished coach, passed away at the age of 45. Born in Belgrade, Serbia, Milojevic's basketball journey began at the youth categories of KK Tasmajdan, leading to a professional debut with Beovuk in 1994. His career spanned over two decades, during which he played for esteemed teams across Europe, including FMP Zeleznik, Buduknost, Partizan, Pamesa Valencia, and Galatasaray. Renowned for his tenacity on the court, Milojevic was a three-time Adriatic League MVP and a vital member of the Serbia and Montenegro national team, clinching Eurobasket gold in 2001. Transitioning into coaching, Milojevic made a significant impact at Megabasket, where he nurtured the talents of future NBA stars, including Nikola Jokic. His leadership led Mega to their first Serbian Cup victory and a debut ABA League Finals appearance. In 2021, Milojevic ventured into the Montenegrin basketball scene with Buduknost, securing both the Montenegrin League and Cup titles. His expertise extended to the Serbian national team, where he served as an assistant coach, and ultimately, the NBA, joining the Golden State Warriors as an assistant coach. Under his guidance, the Warriors clinched the 2022 NBA championship, marking a pinnacle in his coaching career. Milojevic's legacy is not merely in the titles and awards, but in his profound influence on the players he coached and the teams he led. His journey from a dominant player to a visionary coach exemplifies his passion for basketball and his commitment to excellence. The basketball community mourns the loss of Dejan Milojevic, whose contributions to the sport will be remembered for generations. Peter Crombie, an esteemed American actor known for his versatile roles in both film and television, passed away at the age of 71 after a brief illness on January 10, 2024. Born on June 26, 1952, in the suburbs of Chicago, Crombie's journey into the world of acting led him to the prestigious Yale School of Drama, where he honed his craft before making his mark in New York City. Crombie's career was distinguished by a series of notable performances in critically acclaimed films such as Born on the Fourth of July, Natural Born Killers, Seven, My Dog Skip, and The Doors. However, he is perhaps best remembered for his portrayal of crazy Joe Davola on the hit television series Seinfeld, a role that showcased his ability to blend comedy with a hint of menace, making the character unforgettable. His talent was not confined to the big screen. Crombie made impactful guest appearances on television series like Spencer for Hire, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Walker, Texas Ranger, Law and Order, Picket Fences, and NYPD Blue. His dedication to his craft also led him to write the script for the 2006 short drama Threshold, further highlighting his versatility and creativity. Beyond his professional achievements, Crombie's personal life saw him marrying Nadine Kijner in 1991, although the couple later divorced. Despite the ups and downs of his personal life, Crombie remained a beloved figure among his peers and fans alike. Crombie's passing leaves a void in the entertainment industry, but his legacy endures through the memorable characters he brought to life. His contribution to the arts will not be forgotten, and his work continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers. Peter Crombie's name will forever be remembered as a symbol of dedication, talent, and the ability to captivate audiences with his performances.